Okay, we have the MBOT desktop 3D printer, plywood edition, straight from China. Didn't take too long, about a week, but I got to put the damn thing together, so it didn't cost too much. But it is a dual extractor, so I can run two filaments. So, we're going to break this down and do a couple different videos. First, we're just going to unbox the damn thing. Since it's been sitting around all day and I've been waiting, let's get to it. If we can open the box without breaking anything. All right. Garbage. You see the last one I opened. The last box I opened, I pulled out the big sword that I have. But I couldn't find a knife. Okay. Say give it up for a lovely assistant over here, but you can't see her. So she may not be lovely. You never know. Okay. Here we have instructions that are apparently printed in Chinese. So I guess I need to go online and find the English version. That's going to be fun. Okay. But they did write the warning in English. Go figure that one. And what do we have? Uh, the user manual. Okay. So, we're not going to pull every tiny little part out. Well, maybe we will. I don't know. Alright, so we got this little toolkit. Comes with the SD card. Uh, whatever the no. hell. Micro shear fine hand tools. Okay. Oh, these are just uh, a pair of dice. Yeah, close enough. These things. Let's see here, what else we got? Allen wrenches. LR3 grease, Japan original. Well, that's important. Uh, a little spatula thing, pair of needle nose. According to the instructions, when you buy the thing, it's supposed to be everything you need to start. Except the ability to put it back in the case and close it properly. So we'll set that aside. Okay. It's actually packaged quite nicely. All the parts are actually labeled. You can't really see them on the camera. We've got F1, F3, F2, C10. So they're all labeled. So they should be fairly easy to go together. Alright. Okay. Oh, here we go. Now we got the fun stuff. All right, these are the sides. Now, it doesn't come with any, uh, well, yeah, this is the print tray. It doesn't come with a clear acrylic to cover the sides to help keep the temperature inside because, of course, printing with plastic, you need to keep a constant temperature, keep any dust out. But Quick Trip to Lowe's or Home Depot will actually fix that problem. So what else we got? We got some plastic tubing. This is not the print tubing because it doesn't come with it, which you can buy at your local fries, or at least I was able to. As we've established, that's probably the print surface. And we have more. It doesn't even feel like plywood. It's really light. It's really smooth. And it'll probably be fairly solid. And there is way too much little stuff down here. This is going to take a while to put together. So, let's take a look here. A bunch of components. All kinds of little goodies. Nuts, screws, springs. You know, like what kind of project did I get myself into kind of thing. I'm fairly proficient at electronics, but yeah, this you know, it's definitely looking mighty daunting here. So, all right, I'm going to go through the part. I'm going to turn the camera off. I'm going to go through the parts, get it all organized, and we'll come back and put it together.